Finalists have done really well to get this far. We had almost 100 entries over seven different categories and these entries were initially assessed by the panel of judges. They then selected a shortlist of finalists to come here to Orlando to interview face to face at the Process Excellence Week. I've actually judged the same category for all four years, so I have seen an evolution over time. The quality of the candidates, I admit, I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised. It's really interesting being a judge um, this time compared to when I was on the other side. So I, I know a little bit from the perspective of a, a participant of really how, how I need to structure the approach um, when I'm kind of going against the judge. We've been running the Process Excellence Awards for almost a decade now and they've gone from strength to strength each year. I think what really sets these awards apart from other programmes is that they're judged by individuals who are working day in, day out as process improvement practitioners themselves. It's a real honour because working in a government agency you don't normally find too many in this kind of environment. So for us, our journey of a year and a half, this is the this is our Nobel Prize. We had a great team that put together a great project from, uh, from start to finish. So we had great leadership support and great support from the, from the folks who touched our actual process. If our team won this award for the group category that we're in, it would validate all the work that we've done. You know, my boss is a SEAL, and uh, anybody who knows about SEALs is they like to win. So uh, if I tell my boss we don't win, he doesn't necessarily like that. So uh, I guess it means that I get to go back to my job at Little Creek, Virginia. I think the value of the award is actually on, on multiple levels. One is that it's a affirmation of we're on the right track and we're doing the right things and it's showing up in the results that we generate. 